beating my mother and my mother is Indian and he was even my stepdad um, he was white and um, he's beating my mother and my mom is screaming I'm screaming because I'm watching my mother be beaten and then my mom screams no David no and all of a sudden I could hear this the sickening thud as he's beating my mother over the head with the butt of the shotgun until the only screams that could be heard were mine coming from under the table there are numerous, numerous calls and 911 calls that we did make, but he was never charged for anything. Nothing ever happened to that man. You have, this could be tribal, right here could be non-tribal. This could be non-tribal and this could be tribal. So if this is tribal and this is non-tribal and someone is shot here and they fall dead over here, they take tech measures to determine who has that jurisdiction. They come here to hunt. What they did to my daughter was premeditated. They came with, with they, used, they used a condom. They had bandanas. I mean, I think about the bandanas, I think about the cowboy hats with the bandanas to keep the dust out of their face, right? That was premeditated. They came here with the intent and purposes of finding an, a, a, you know, someone on his reservation, a Native woman, to rape because they could. It, it's, it's so obscene. How, how, you know, the, the level of violence that's being committed against us in 2014, we're supposed to be a civilized society, right? Why is the majority of our perpetrators are non-Indian and particularly white? We live in modern day cowboys versus Indians. Then VAWA passes. That's a great victory. But why would it take a federal mandate to do that? Why would it take a federal law and so I'm holding my daughter in my arm when she was 10 months old. And he had slapped me across the face. And when he did that, I look, you know, end up looking right at her and she's looking right at me. I'm looking in her little deep little dark eyes. And, and I realized that I called that my, um, the slap of reality, that my, my daughter had just become me and I had just become my mother. And I knew she was not going to live my life. She was not going to have the same childhood that I had. She was not going to have that trauma and that fear and have all that anger and hatred in her heart. Um, so I packed up and left and never went back. No man will ever raise their hand to me and think that they're going to be able to do it. Just because these systems allow this to be in place, I refuse to.